Quick announcement before we start the video. If you don't care about the ebook at all, you can skip to this point in the video right here. But if you are interested, it is finally, finally done. You can buy it on trainwithtravis.com. It's linked down below. And you already know you can save 30% using Travis. It was only appropriate. I am so proud of this, guys. It's a quick read. It was a lot longer, but I cut a lot of the fluff out. I wanted you guys just to get to the point, get the messages, and not waste your time. So I really, really think this can help everybody. I just It's everything that I wish I would have known five, six, ten years ago. All the knowledge in this little brain in here relating to business and fitness. How that they both kind of correlate with one another. How I got to the point where I'm at today. It's just... I'm really proud of this body of work. So if you are interested, you can purchase it down below. Please, if you do, let me know what you think of it. But like I said, I think you guys will really be able to get a lot of value out of it. Enjoy the video. It seems like every day that I get out of bed, it's just a mad dash to go get things done. Whether it be editing YouTube videos or going to the gym, going to work. There's just so many different things pulling us in a million different directions. And I think we're all very blessed to be overwhelmed because the reason we feel that way is because we have so many options, so many different things that we can be doing. But I know for myself, sometimes it just gets to be a little bit too much. Do you guys ever get into this mindset where you're like every five seconds you're thinking of something else that you should or could be doing? And after a while, I think you just drive yourself crazy. And I've always been that guy that's like, I don't need sleep. I don't need a day off. I don't need a break. I'm good. Let's keep going. And I found that it's not exactly like that. Sometimes I feel like I just live in this state of exhaustion and you're not able to excel in all these different areas all the time. And sometimes I get a reality check to be to be quite frank because what I found is when I get in these moods that I'm just, you know, tired and I'm stale, it kind of kills my productivity. It kills my efficiency. It definitely kills my creativity. Just kind of hinders the way that I think in general. And I remember the first time someone introduced a concept to me of learning how to relax. And I remember thinking, that is the laziest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. But I found out that it truly is a skill that can really help you. It's a skill that I don't have. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'm always thinking about something else, thinking about the next thing. And it's not a good thing. My mind is very hyperactive. And sometimes I feel like if I could just put it to rest, I'd be rejuvenated. I would be better off in taking on all the things that I do need to get done. So it's something that I'm definitely going to be working on moving forward. And I think a lot of us can kind of relate to that. I just started this new training program. It's called Don't Be an Idiot and Stop Injuring Yourself. It's going well so far. We're six weeks in. Now, that doesn't negate the fact I'm still a lot weaker and smaller than I was in college, but you guys got to bear with me. So we're going to keep going. And the new strategy that I'm implementing is when I feel like I'm about to snap myself up, just stop. I know, it's revolutionary. I should be selling this stuff. My shoulder is feeling better than it has in over a year. And really, it didn't start to feel better until I went to California and didn't lift for three straight days. Who would have thought that this entire time, just taking time away from the gym would have helped me heal? That's just, it's mind blowing stuff. I can't believe it, I'm telling you, man. But now we have to, I guess, not get hurt again. Here's the issue that I've run into. I don't stop lifting until I get hurt. That is the problem. That is the mentality that I go into the gym with and probably not the best as you guys have seen. I could go on and on about why that's one of the best songs of all time, but I would need an entire video to dissect every line and nobody wants to see that. One of my favorite restaurants of all time, Corrido, is like a Chipotle with more options. And this is how we meal prep for the week. I told you guys I was gonna get lazy on that. So these two bowls are almost identical. This one's gonna be for tomorrow. I know I'll be in the office late, so I pack some dinner. We have some salsa, some cucumbers, some chicken. And then on this one, I have rice. On this one, I do not. And this one also has double chicken. It doesn't matter, but we got some black beans in here as well. It is super, super delicious. And I have no idea how this thing got here. Must have been a mistake. Let's see how this thing works. No exaggeration, guys, I have one television station, which is Channel 5, and I'm guessing the Super Bowl is not going to be streaming on there. It's not going to be on Netflix either. Come on. I have so many people's passwords for all these different services, Netflix, Hulu, cable. I've got to be able to get it on one of these. TV, you suck. Since I've lived here, I've had this TV on like maybe three or four times. The first time was for the Ohio State-Penn State game. Not a very good outcome. I watched This Is Us a few times. 
Always a good outcome. And then, you guys, well, maybe you don't know. I've been an Eagles fan my entire life. My mom was from Philadelphia, so I was raised an Eagles fan. And to see them in the Super Bowl is just insane. So honestly, my plan tonight was to order a pizza, forget about YouTube, just take a night off, watch my Eagles, but I, I couldn't do it. I just, I just felt too guilty and I don't know. Anyway, I know that everyone's watching the Super Bowl right now and thinking about their diets. I hope no one is worried about finding diet hacks today, but I figured because I love you guys, I would try to give you macro-friendly recipes for future. Don't diet during the Super Bowl, please, please. Even though I'm being a hypocrite, because I am, but only to give you guys recipe ideas. These are gonna be lower calorie ideas, but first, my low, my low carb lunches for the week are gonna be these chicken sausages with some green beans. I also have some almonds, very exciting stuff, I know. Now, I got about, I would say, 50 DMs and I got tagged about 20 to 30 times in this picture of Brussels sprout mac and cheese. So we're gonna make that tonight. And I'm gonna try to make this special cheese sauce. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like I could probably make it happen. Step number one, all I'm gonna do is put some almond milk in here. How much? I have no freaking idea. That looks good to me. Next step, fat-free cream cheese. Probably about, about this much. Yeah, mm, yeah, maybe. Okay, I'd say that looks good. Oh, okay, so so far we are looking not very good at all. It is way too runny, but I'm gonna try to fix it. So thankfully it's thickening up a little bit. We in the biz call this winging it. So the next thing we're gonna do is just dump some of this low fat cheese into here and then mix that around. It's like we're playing spin the bottle. Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? <gasps> it landed. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've gotta kiss you. <laughs> So to make nachos, we're kinda gonna cheat. We're gonna take these low-fat Tostitos and then we're gonna top it with the bowl that I got from Corito. Essentially everything you'd want on nachos, at least in my mind, black beans, chicken, salsa, all that good stuff, and then we'll top that with some of that cheese sauce. Most of that is gonna be used for the Brussels sprout mac and cheese. You know, after that, it kinda just all comes to, you guys can watch. Come on guys, you gotta be at least a little bit impressed by these low or lower fat nachos. Look at this thing. You're telling me you wouldn't eat this? You're a damn liar. Before the game starts, quick taste test of the Brussels sprout mac and cheese. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, any joke that I could make about this would just be too cheesy. And because it's a special occasion, we're gonna have one of these Diet Coke Twisted Mangoes. I got marketed so hard at the store on this. Pretty good, I'll probably never buy it again. It's just, just kind of a cool can, man. Marketing at its finest. I'm not even going to talk about the game because I realize it's irrelevant in your time, but something that's never irrelevant are chocolate chip cookies. So I picked this thing up from Corito. I don't think I've ever had a cookie from there before. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we have one of my favorite low calorie ice creams of all time. It's the Edie's Mint Cookie Crunch. Keep in mind, this is different than the mint chocolate chip that they have. This is much better in my opinion. And then we have one of my least favorite low calorie ice creams. I guess it's a yogurt. And this is Cake and Cookie Fantasy. They really marketed me pretty hard on here. So I figured we mix them both together. Then it will be like, I don't know, a bowl of mediocreness. This is like the stereotypical American right now. Sitting on the couch, watching football, eating a big bowl of ice cream. That's why we're so freaking fat. Can you say fat on the internet? <laughs> I don't know if that's politically correct. I really don't know how I feel about the situation where you guys know what happened. So I'm looking stupid regardless of what's going on in the game because it's over and uh, I don't know. I'm gonna shut this video off because you don't wanna hear me talk about this anymore. I can't eat any more food. So you guys don't want anything more to do with me. If you wanna see me eat more food, go watch my last video. There was so much food in that thing. It was like eight minutes of just me putting things in my mouth. You guys will freaking love it. Okay, thank you so much. For taking time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything. Anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. 
That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Hitting that thumbs up button helps me out so much. I really do appreciate that. If you're a new subscriber, it was great to have you here. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.